The major topic for today's video is none other than the Callisto Protocol. The Callisto Protocol is finally releasing tomorrow on December the 2nd and the game system requirements are also out. Also the information about the DRM used in the game is also out in front of all the gamers. Majority of the gamers as always are disappointed with this game because this game is having a third party anti-temper, anti-cheat DRM, Denivo anti-temper. Yes, this year has been a great year for gaming but not not so basically because Denivo was also used in majority of the games released this year. I am talking about AAA titles which are graphically intensive, PC demanding and very much good looking. So majority of the gamers are waiting to actually see a crack for at least one Denivo game released in 2022. Denivo is getting very powerful with each year technology is advancing and anti-piracy measures are getting stronger and stronger year by year and the later version of Denivo is probably Denivo version 18 and it is by far the strongest version of DRM which is ever to be made after E is and second one the Activision's DRM but other than that the game system requirements are also out so let's quickly discuss how demanding is this game and how well it might actually run on your PC if you have anything between GTX 1066 GB or uh, you know GTX 1070 you might be able to run this game in medium to high settings very easily yes guys the system requirements of this game is little bit demanding minimum system requirements start from a gtx 1060 or rx 580 given the fact that it asks for a i5 8400 i am assuming the fact that it might have a 6 gb 1060 requirement because the equivalent amd gpu given over here is rx 580 we all know that rx 580 is significantly powerful than gtx 1650 and probably 1650 super as well so if you have anything between 1650 650 super you might be able to play this game on 1080p although it is not recommended over here you might actually have to see the detailed spec chart by the developers but according to the steam system requirements the game is having significantly demanding system requirements but not as much not as much heavy as gotham knights or any other triple a game but still i think they are pretty much considerable given the fact that 2023 is almost here and this game is coming in the second quarter of 2022 so system requirements are pretty much decent enough they do not even require 16 gb of ram from bare minimum we have seen games demanding 16 gb of ram at least to run it smoothly but yes this game demands only 8 gb of ram for the bare minimum and secondly i5 8400 is the bare minimum cpu requirement yes at least i5 8 generation is required so at least you must be having a 4 core good i5 8 generation or above cpu as for the ryzen side they are telling that ryzen 5 2600 is the bare minimum system requirement so it will be only a time to see how well the game runs only a couple of days are actually left when this game runs out and you guys will gonna be playing this game although the beta testing and all of the reviews will gonna be rolling wide quite soon probably just in 12 or 13 hours so be patient for that but other than that i think as this game is having a new anti-temper anti-cheat technology the performance of this game can get hampered in any significant form because because we have seen what happened with Gotham Knights, apart from the bugs and glitches in that game, the Denimo checks, the code checks actually a whole lot of times in the background which can cause significant stutter or resource demanding too high in most of the times while you play the game. Thank you so much for watching and let me know what do you guys actually think about the Denivo scene being used in majority of the AAA games. I never expected that space to come with Denivo and it was only a time that we were notified this game will gonna be having Denivo only a few weeks ago basically. So let me know your opinions. I'll be seeing you in my very next video.